All right, welcome back to our Nor'easter coverage. And joining us right now over Zoom is Hartford Mayor Lou Bronin. Mayor, thank you so much for taking time out of your evening to speak with us. We just want to start by finding out how conditions are in Hartford right now. How are the crews doing out there? Uh, well, conditions are pretty snowy. Uh, we've had a lot of snow come down so far, and it doesn't show any a sign of uh, stopping soon. The crews, as you can imagine, have been working hard all day from early morning hours till now, and uh, they're ready for a long night. It, it, it looks like it's going to be a long night, as a matter of fact. Uh, Mayor, I know you have a parking ban right now in the city. I want to ask you, uh, in general terms, this is our first major storm of 2021. It's really our third uh, snow event, I suppose, of the, of, the, of the cold weather season so far. How are people uh, complying with your parking bans? Are you finding a pretty good cooperation among the, the population there, or are you having to tow a lot of cars? Uh, so, you know, as uh, as you said, this is the third storm. Usually the first storm is where you have the, the worst compliance as people uh, forget about the need to get their cars off the street. Uh, so far, it looks like we've had pretty good compliance. I will say that uh, we haven't done a lot of towing yet, but as we get into the later evening hours where cars are not complying with the ban, we will tow them. So far, though, it looks like compliance is okay. Uh, and uh, it's important for everybody to know our, our snow parking ban began at noon today. It goes all the way till 6 p.m. tomorrow because we know the cleanup from this one is going to take a while. The superintendent's office making the decision, I'm assuming in conjunction with your office, to do two remote learning days, both today and tomorrow. Can you talk about the, that decision and maybe speak to some of the disappointed children at home right now who might have wanted to go outside in this snow? Sure. I, I, this is look. This is a weird year in every way, uh, and uh, I, I'm sure there are some kids who are disappointed that they can't be out uh, in the snow all day. On the other hand, uh, you know there may be some parents uh, who are glad that uh, there's uh, classes to engage kids uh, in this two-day period. Yeah, you, you mentioned the uh, cleanup just a second ago, and I wanted to ask you about that. Assuming Hartford gets uh, 10 or 12 or 14 inches of snow, and I'm not, I'm not sure where you're going to wind up, but uh, what is the cleanup going to look like, and how long are things going to be disrupted? Uh, how, how long will it be before you get it all cleaned up and people can move around pretty normally here? I can't give you a good answer on that yet. We don't know when the snow is going to stop, but we're expecting that we've still got quite a bit of snow to fall, and the cleanup is going to be a multi-day effort. That starts with making sure that our roads are clear, but we've also got sidewalk crews out there who are shoveling the sidewalks uh, and making sure that public areas are passable. And uh, then there's going to be a few days uh, after a storm like this where you are uh, getting rid of those big piles of snow uh, in a city like Hartford, there are not a lot of places to push the snow. So you clear that road, you make those piles, then you have to lift it and transport it to get it out of here. All right, Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us this evening. Thanks for having me. All right, good luck to you.